answer is circumnavigating the world in less than 80 days. Good job. So at the end of the first round, the score is 30 to 30. Is a tie game? Second round. Uh, first question category is name that movie. Ooh. So I want you to name the movie. I'm going to give you the plot. Stanley Ipkiss is a bank clerk who robs his own bank, assaults multiple auto mechanics, and thwarts an entire crime syndicate en route to literally catching his love interest. This is the plot for what 1994 comedy? We're locked in. (laughs) Wow, that's fast. I I figured some of you words. I I, I figured that might happen, but yep, it doesn't come to mind immediately, Dieter. Uh, Yeah, he said literally catching. So there is a definite clue here of like somebody falling and being caught. Yeah. It, it sounds like the, uh, it, it sounds the scene in, in uh, Princess Bride when they catch Buttercup. Yeah, it's gonna be something like that. That's yeah. the only scene like that I can remember. Here's here's what's triggering for me. It sounds like a superhero. What's the word? Golly, uh, an identity, an alter ego kind of thing, right? Is it mm-hmm. is is this underdog? Underdog used to catch his his uh, damsel in distress a lot, I feel like. Uh, I don't I, remember a 1994 movie of Underdog. I, I certainly don't remember Underdog ever being a bank teller. So that's, that's, the, uh, that's just one of the things that's popping into mind. I'm trying to remember mid-90s superhero movies, and I'm honestly drawing a blank. Stanley Ipkiss. Assaults multiple car mechanics? Yeah, and he said robs his own bank. So that makes it not sound like a superhero? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Could this be the mask? That's kind of like a cartoon, kind of like a superhero, and he did things that are not necessarily good guy stuff. Yeah, and that's about the right time frame. It is the right time frame. That was the first time I ever saw Cameron Diaz in a movie, and oh my god. God, I thought she was gorgeous. It's feeling I, I, it's feeling pretty I can't good. Come up with anything else? I think I want to do that. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, we're gonna say the mask. Yeah, I got this off of just Stanley Ipkiss. Yep, me <laughs> um, too. This is Cameron Diaz's film debut. Uh, Peter Green is in this movie. It's the first time I ever saw him as a bad guy. I've seen him play nothing but bad guys my whole life. And Richard Jenny's in this movie. This is absolutely the mask. Heck yeah! <laughs> and Jim Carrey. So yeah, when (laughs) during the uh, yeah that was funny. Not the keys, not the cheese. I should watch that again. I remember that being really funny. That dog was adorable in that movie. Adorable, Mrs. (laughs) Beadman. During the dance scene, uh, towards the end of the the dance, uh, Stanley throws uh, throws her way up in the air near the roof, and then catches her. That's where and that she's literally catches her. There like a hundred times, a million times. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer is the mask. Great job, both teams. Uh, Jonathan pulled a Jonathan on that. I, one. Uh, that really ben, did. Ben, I love that type of question. Keep that in your repertoire. That's fantastic, man. That was Ben that was, Stein is also in that movie. Yes, he is. Yeah. yeah, there there are a lot of those. What's that? What's that guy's name? There's a whole bunch of good old what's his name. Yeah. In that movie. It really are good old what's his face it's 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 such a good it's just a good movie period all right your second uh question in the round is in music <laughs> belcanis marlanis almanzar is better known by what boozy stage name and We're locked in and i i, I, I don't need to to <laughs> there's a bonus in here <laughs> i don't need to shout out to the bonus brigade <laughs> carmela <laughs> said she doesn't want the bonus Shut up. No, we do. want the bonus. <laughs> she well, the, so there was that was a meow meow moment, by the way, Jonathan. Oh, so. oh well she did not. Oh, sorry. Carmela, would you would you like me? Is it is it true meow meow? Oh uh, yeah, you can meow meow that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's your bonus. Uh she planned to do a New Year's Eve Instagram performance of one of her hit songs, but abruptly cut it short due to a surprise appearance by whom? Oh, yeah, I got that, too. So y'all are locked in? So. Hand, hand write it down or type it, and then you're, we're good. So, Dieter, can you think of, of pop stars with uh, boozy names? This feels, I don't know why, but this feels very, um, like, in the vein of Megan the Stallion and, uh, like, that genre of sure. hip-hop. 
yeah. pop-esque. So somebody with a boozy name. Uh, okay. Could it be Cardi B? I, I had never put this t- together before, but Cardi B, if you switch it around, is B. Cardi, which uh, yeah. is boozy. Yeah, that would make sense. And I can't think of anything else more. A lot of these people have uh, fairly on-the-nose names, I would say, and mm-hmm. I can't think of anything like Lil Champagne. Right, right. <laughs> I'm sure that is someone. That- <laughs> like, yeah, this, is, this is the new up-and-coming artist, Two Beers. <laughs> 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 Okay, I like Cardi B for this, and a New Year's performance that was cut short due to the appearance of who? Isn't Cardi B married or dating or she was in a uh, relationship with someone else? Quavo, famous from Migos, I think it was either Quavo, Take Off, or the other guy, Offset. Oh, maybe it's all. No, she's with. I think she's with Offset or was they broke up? Yeah, they they there was a split around New Year's or end of the year. I think it's Offset that she's that she's been in a relationship with. I'm not I, sure though. I don't know either. Um, we could also go. Uh, the most famous song of her from last year was a uh, WAP with uh, Megan Thee Stallion. So we could say that that wouldn't make her stop. That absolutely wouldn't yeah. make her stop. I like the, I like where you're going with like ex boyfriend appears and it's like oh I'm out of here kind of thing. I'm pretty sure it's not take off. I think she was with Offset. I think we should go Offset. All right, it's, it sounds reasonable to me. So uh, Cardi B and Offset. Yep, those are our answers. All right. Okay. All right, I'm letting Carmela take all of this because she knew it and I did not. Cardi B's name is Bel Callis, so that's why I remembered that. That's what the B is for. So the song is WAP. She was with Offset. Quavo is with Saweetie. And I don't know who Takeoff is in a relationship with. It could be nobody. But that's why I never remember Takeoff because I don't know who he's dating. (laughs) (laughs) Fair. That's fair. But Cardi B and Offset have a daughter named Culture. Uh, she's, I don't know, maybe two or three now. Oh. And she came into the room and she stopped performing WAP because, you know, it's a very dirty song and she didn't want her daughter to hear the lyrics, which is good parenting. So if you have a problem with her song, and you don't want your kids to hear it, then don't let them hear it. I mean, that's <laughs> very simple, <laughs> but it's, it's Cardi B in culture. So yes, Belkanis, Marlenis Almazar, Almanzar is Cardi B. And Cabrera is exactly right. She started to do an Instagram performance. Her daughter walked in and she cut it short. And so, yeah, it was her toddler daughter. Good job. Great job. Yep, she walked, She was right in the middle of something and her daughter came in. As soon as she turned and saw, she stopped immediately and just like, all right, I'm just going to take a drink and wait till she leaves. <laughs> Dieter, Dieter, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was the New Year's Eve performance we were talking about. I've seen that video. I've, I've, that went viral. I've seen that. And I didn't realize, I, I thought we were talking about a live performance, like, in in like socially distanced public of some sort. If I had realized we were talking about like a, an Instagram thing, then I could have gotten it. So that's on me. I'm sorry. I did say I did say New Year's Eve Instagram performance. Did you really? I yeah, think yeah. Was yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was I was dealing with a lot of new information all at once. <laughs> it's, it's, it happens. It happens, bro. I can't tell you how many times I've made that mistake on this show. <laughs> that's that's a shame. That's a shame. But hey, hey. That was I, I feel happy we got the answer, though. That's solid yeah. right there. <laughs> you got there. You definitely got there. Your last question in the round is in sports. Sport ball. Sport. Steph Curry recently passed Reggie Miller for second all-time in three-point field goals made. He is on track next season to take over the top spot from what retired two-time champion, Hall of Famer, and Spike Lee movie actor. Oh, Dieter, that's the best name I have. I don't uh, I, I I don't know. I don't think I'm going to come up with anything else. I, I I don't have a lot of confidence, but it's not I, a bad. I, I have I have nothing on this. So okay, so let's go. Ahead. Let's lock that in. Then we're going to lock in that answer. All right, all right. Uh, so Carmelo, this is the one reason why you want me on the uh, on our team. <laughs> and there's, there's uh, many reasons why I want you on my team, but this oh, is one you. of them. You did say explicitly, <laughs> well, you. Chris. You're only good at sports. Come on, my team. <laughs> yes. 
Well, that's why I, I suggested that Dieter not be on my team because we're not we both. Neither one of us are any good at sports. And that would just been terrible. Well, I remember there was a tweet that Spike sent to him saying congratulations now all you have to do is pass jesus shuttlesworth and jesus jesus shuttlesworth was a character in spike lee's movie i believe it's he got game Mm -hmm. and that was ray allen that played jesus shuttlesworth even though if 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 ben did not give me all that detail i was going to say john stockton because i really thought it was john stockton but with all that detail that ben got me and then remembering that tweet it it has to, it's Ray Allen. I'm, I'm okay. positive it's Ray Allen, Carmella. Well, well, you know, it, it's better than my suggestion of of the best Spike Lee joint, which was Space Jam. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure he's sure rolled better joints than that. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a Spike Lee joint. Um, it, it's it's not. But, it's, it's a joke. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> she got jokes. All right. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm cool with Ray Allen. We can go with all that. All right. So we will go with uh, former Buck, former. Uh, gosh, he was probably on five or six different teams, I think. But uh, former Celtic, that's where he won one of his titles, uh, Ray Allen. I want to point out that Carmella correctly identified a hit movie with a basketball player in it. Like, that's that's, that's, that's several a big basketball deal. Players. Charles that's Parker true. was in that movie. Bird. Larry, Larry Bird was in that movie. Mm-hmm. Michael yep. Jordan, obviously, was in that movie. Muggsy, Muggsy Bogues. Bogues. Yes. In that movie. Nice. Sean Bradley. Sean Bradley. <laughs> Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson. Grandma Ma. I remember the scene with Charles Barkley praying in the church to get his basketball skills back. He's like, I'll never go out with Madonna again. And I was like, that's mean. <laughs> Danny DeVito, famous basketball. <laughs> Patrick <laughs> Ewing was in. Uh, Bill, Bill Murray. Bill yeah, Murray. Bill Murray. <laughs> Absolutely, Bill Murray was in. Oh, I can't get any love for calling Danny DeVito a basketball. I thought that was a good no, joke. No, that was mean. That was mean. All right. Yeah, so, Jonathan, you're a volume shooter. Just keep shooting. Yeah, you know what, Ben? That's why. Yeah, me and you, brother. <laughs> I get land, it. Just like. Sometimes they brick. Um, yep. So, yeah, Dieter, Dieter's like, I got nothing. I'm like, oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> the first name that came to me was Ray Allen. And I was really, I was like, I don't know of his movie. I knew he did a movie. And that's like, that That really ties in. I know he's a three-point shooter. I don't remember him playing that long to be the number one all-time three-point guy. But it's like, did he do the basketball diaries? That's not Spike. Lee, did he do which which one did he do i don't know but i can't think of a better answer honestly when you first asked the question i thought the answer might be del curry until you started talking about movies because del curry was a famous three-point shooter for a long time that was his whole career but yeah i didn't have any better answers so we said ray allen nice yeah he is currently all-time three-point leader uh he did play jesus Shuttlesworth in the spike lee joint he got game uh, we are talking about Ray Allen. There we go. Yay. Thank right. you, Chris. At the end of the second round, the score is 62 to 60. Carmella and Chris have a two point lead thanks to baby culture. That's right. And no, the real thanks on that question is to Spike Lee for uh, that tweet. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do you want to shout him out? Hey, shout out to Spike Lee. Shout out Spike Lee. Because I'm sure yeah. he's listening. When I read that, I saw this uh, ticker come across of him passing Reggie for second all time. I was like, man, who in the world is first if Reggie Miller is second? But like, I think you made this point, both of you. So, Chris, you were saying, well, he's played on, a, he may have played on a lot of different teams. Jonathan, you were like, I don't know if he's played long enough to get it. And it's like, you forget that Ray Allen, you know, had, you know, he was started out with Milwaukee, then he went to Seattle, then he went to Boston, he went to Miami. You forget how, how his career, how many three pointers that is when you add them all up. So it's, it's insane. But Steph is definitely going to pass him next year. <laughs> oh, and yeah, Steph's 100%. got another 10 years left on his career if he wants it. Yeah. Shout out to Steph Curry. Shout out to Steph Curry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we'll, we'll be hanging out later. <laughs> actually, I take that back. I think the tweet, now that I'm thinking about it, was actually from Reggie Miller himself, now that I'm remembering it. So, oh, and I, well. yeah. Anyway, shout but out to Reggie Miller. It was a tweet. That's all I remember. <laughs> it was a tweet. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the shout out episode. <laughs> all right. Your third round begins with a question in science. Science. What was the question to the final Jeopardy answer? On the final episode hosted by Alex Trebek, the word comes from the Greek words for equal and place. And yes, I do want your answer in the form of a question. I still haven't watched this because it's too painful. <laughs> I haven't yeah, seen it either. I, I, yeah, I missed it. And I don't have it recorded, sadly. We're really struggling because Latin and Roman stuff is all all 
Everything we come up All with, like, I think you. that's Latin. Okay, let's do it then, Carmel. All right, we're locked in. So 